Greetings, adventurers, and welcome back to my Skyrim modding journey. Uh, today we are starting out with showing you something I already installed. <laughs> Distar's projectiles mod, which uh, if you want, you can come here and look at the video. But uh, it just slows down. It turns lots of spells into uh, projectiles instead of like concentration things, and it slows them down to make them dodgeable. Uh, now I will say, and I'll go ahead and show you here, actually. Now, you know, obviously it looks like a lot when there's a bunch of people. There's not usually this many mages shooting at you. So it's pretty slow feeling. Luckily, there's this uh, mod for it that increases the speed of all of the projectiles, uh, including the arrows. But for me, the arrows were still too slow. I mean, it was, you know, they could be standing 10 feet away from you and you could just step to the side. You didn't even need a, a dodge mod. Um, and you could, like, almost keep up with it like running wise so <clears throat> and you know i like dark souls games i understand that that's uh part of it generally uh what i'm going to go for with my game balance is um i'm going to have the arrows be faster still just barely fast enough that at distance especially not that you should be able to dodge the arrow itself necessarily, but you should be able to dodge based on like seeing the person release the arrow from a certain distance. That's how I plan on balancing that. And now I'm doing this because I want armor and shields to still be important. And it just feels like if you can dodge arrows super easily, then there's less reason to do that. So yeah, my balance of the game is going to be like magic is more versatile and uh, especially later on more powerful but it's slower and more dodgeable and harder to land, essentially, whereas arrows are going to be faster, uh, more accurate, but they obviously are going to be uh, limited in their use by armor. And I also want to make it so that you can't sneak kill somebody with a, a full helm on, essentially, with an arrow. Uh, coming up behind them and stabbing them, that's different, because you should. that's much easier to put a knife like just under their, their helmet or whatever. Um, or into their, their eye slot. But as far as stealth killing people, I want armor to matter. Um, so if they're wearing a full helm, uh, unless there's some kind of like late game magic arrows or something with penetration, uh, I intend for arrows to make it so that, or I intend for helmets to make it so that almost nobody can be, be one shot um, as long as they are hit by a full heavy helmet. I'll say light helmets can still be gotten through. I think that's realistic. <clears throat> uh, if you get someone in the head with a just a leather helm, essentially. So yeah, the mods are projectiles, no spellcasting time, faster projectiles for that mod, and then to make the arrows faster, simply faster arrows and bolts. Now there is another one specifically for MCO that increases the speed of arrows, but it was still just too slow. It was better but it was, uh, and, and for like a more like Dark Souls-y game, I feel like it was like the perfect speed to being able to dodge like you would in Dark Souls arrows. But that's not what I'm going for. So we're going to load up the game. And I'm going to just show you how it plays. Now I'm hoping a spell like Fireball will be faster than Flames was, because Flames is very slow. So I'll show you, uh, I have Fireball in my left hand. And make sure I have homing still turned on. Okay. So apparently TDM settings do save through through game saves. That's nice. So I'll just show you, for example, how slow just flames is. Get a little further away real quick. That's pretty fucking slow still. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, so yeah, there's the no cast time for uh, like a spell like Fireball. And that's interesting. You can hold it down. You don't have to. So what about... Because I know, I believe it didn't change the speed of modded ones like Odin. So let's try. And I think there was a thing to fix it, but I realized that I would maybe like something like flame darts to be like a fast option that uh, would force people to like have to hide behind cover or or use a magic barrier or something. Let's 
super fast by comparison. <laughs> oh, got rid of the witness, so I got rid of my bounty. Uh-oh. And that is like a machine gun. And I'm on novice settings, so this is not uh, not balanced how it is by any means. Oh, is that a limit on distance of flame darts? I mean, that is a good thing. I don't want it to be... Uh... So yeah, it's nice that uh, a thing like Fireball is quite a bit slower, I think. Well, that one's quite a bit faster, and it's an expert level, level spell. <laughs> yeah, it's so much faster than a fireball. Oh, nice. I can see their stamina draining trying to keep up with me. Oh. Oh, seeing if he hits me in the head, it still hurts, it looks like. Oh, and that's why armor would also be important for arrows. Yeah, that incinerate spells pretty fast compared to the other stuff. I like that. Compared to Fireball. I'm still not super slow or anything. And then compared to Flames. Yeah, see, it looks like they still make it so Flames has the charge of time. Or the, the lower level ones. Or maybe that's just, maybe it's not for concentration spells. Maybe the concentration spells are meant to take a second on purpose. Compared to Flame Darts. Yeah, how far can I hit the ground? Okay. So yeah, I like that. It's not a long-range spell, so it's just fast. <clears throat> That'll definitely make it a, a good spell. It's Adept, yeah. With uh, Proteus and some other things, I'll be able to lower the damage of like this spell by itself if I want to, to, to balance it. You know, we'll, we will do the, the testing and stuff. Let's just give uh, Predictive a try, see how accurate it feels for, for arrows. But I feel like even for my games, that might be a little too much. It doesn't help. I've, I've killed almost everyone here. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, especially when they're... And I mean, if they were moving to the side or whatever. This thing, homing was, like, really accurate. And I would like, you know, even if it's just a little more. And, you know, I'm clearly not missing very much, <laughs> even using this. God, I love that sword. It's freaking amazing. All right. Well, we've got all that sorted out. All right, now that we've got arrows and spells and stuff out of the way, uh, this is one of the, the big boy mods, Valhalla Combat. Now this here, yeah, this is just for the, like, it changes the aesthetic of the menus, and it ends up being, you need Nordic UI to make it work, and it just ended up being, like, too many different things for me to want to do now, but if, you know, we get to the end of this and I decide I... Because I do like the look of it. Uh, I think you can see it down here. Yeah. That's really nice. I like the, like, look of the lettering and stuff, uh, but I'm just not going to do it yet. We will wait. Um, but yeah, we already have True HUD. I've already checked there's no install directions, so let's uh, do that. You can see, for now I disabled. I'm going to see if anything about not having casting time bothers me, even. Uh before I decide if I'm going to keep that or not. But, uh, right. And how do we test? How does the, let's make sure we know how the time block works. Oh, I like that. It builds up a time block penalty if you fail multiple of them within a, a short time. All right, well, let's uh, give it a shot, shall we? I don't intend on having the projectile parry, just a uh, melee parry. You know what? We'll just, uh, besides the projectile block, we'll just go through and, and see how the, uh, Vanilla settings work. Oh no. That's a little, I don't like that screen shake already. Oh, there we go. Mm. See, this is not a mechanic I've not played either. God of War, I see. Bahala. Yeah, looks good for now. All the uh, features are working. And what I like about this, I'm going to have to make sure I uh, know exactly how it works, because it adds just that much little bit of features. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for now. That was a decent amount of adding and testing. So thank you guys very much for uh, watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, next time we will be adding more stuff to try to make the combat more fun. Uh, I'm pretty sure Elden Perry and Elden... 
encounter will be them, possibly. We'll see. Um, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.